Hello. I have a boyhood fascination with power plants. Which explains why Daryl Hill recently passed a milestone, giving 1,500 tours of Antelope Valley Station. Is this something that you'd want to do 1,500 times? No. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Hill has been telling the story behind the light switch for hours, literally about 3,000 hours. It all started rather unintentionally. A former newsman, he was hired by Basin Electric to coordinate the communications effort for Antelope Valley Station. People would call about questions. I either had answers or I could direct them to the uh, people who knew the answers. So it kind of took the pressure off the engineers and the people constructing it. Ultimately, that evolved into a tour program. Then uh, some, you know, a tour group called one day and said, hey, could we drive over and look at Antelope Valley? And we said, well, I guess we can. So I did the first tour out here in April of 1979. Daryl Hill's entire time at the helm of the now well-developed tour program has gone off without a hitch, with perhaps one exception that turned out to produce a bit of Antelope Valley trivia. The elevator went out of service and they couldn't, we couldn't get it restarted in time to ride down with the group. So we said, okay, we're gonna walk down. And that's why I learned one of these amazing facts that there's 585 steps from top to bottom. Daryl Hill has even taken the Antelope Valley Station a little Hollywood when he hosted a tour for the Modern Marvels TV show. Every tour is special. Uh, whenever they walk in the door, it's a special group to me, whether it's the first one or the 1500th one. He's very energetic and enthusiastic and you could tell he really enjoys doing what, he, what he's doing. Did a good job. At 1,500 tours and going strong, even as the Antelope Valley Station is going to continue to generate electricity, Daryl Hill is going to continue to talk about it. Uh, again, welcome, Antelope Valley. For KX News at Antelope Valley Station, Barbara Sharp.